Hello YouTube! In this video I'm trying to explain how to build an adjustable voltage regulator by yourself. Long story short, I got this information from a YouTuber called Afrotech Mod, so everything thumbs up for him. And I'm, I'm just making this video again, so I can explain it in my own words and in my channel how to make adjustable voltage regulator, so you can use it with my alternator video. And we are making here a adjustable voltage regulator, uh, which you can use to step down the voltage to your car alternator so you can get the 16.8 volts out from a normal 12 volts alternator. Okay, first of all uh, you have 12 volts here. Uh, you can have less than 12 volts or more than 12 volts. Uh, all it makes that if you have uh, low cost components you drop the voltage down to 2. So if you have maximum of 12 volts you can get only 10 volts out. So if you buy better components you get 0 0.5 voltage drop. So if you have 14.4 volts here you can crank it up up to 14, 13.9 uh, volts. The drop is so low. Uh, so how to make it? You have 12 volts here plus minus. Uh, then you first add a capacitor in front of yeah, the voltage of the capacitor is somewhere let's say 50 volt. If you if you make uh, buy capacitor with lower voltage, they are just cost more. And this is so easy to make that you just don't need a high powered capacitors in the in this system. So you put a um, 50 volt. 10 microfarad capacitor in front of the line so the, it stabilizes the, uh, the voltage that goes into this system. Then you have LM317 here and you put the stabilized voltage into the in input side and output side goes back to the alternator or whatever you want it to go and you put also in the end another capacitor here. So the, these are let's say 50 volts then microfarad capacitors just to stabilize the uh, voltage that's coming in and coming out. Here LM317 as I said and in the output side you put 500 and then ohm resistor. Uh, the wattage of the resistor might be 3 or 5 what uh, it all depends how much you are trying to draw current in through the system. The more current you take, the higher the voltage is, the more current you uh, try to take out, the more the LM317 heats up, so you must use a heat sink to cool it down properly. Using a heat sink is a very good thing in here. Otherwise you might burn it up uh, or if you buy a better component than LM317 they have internal thermal cut down so when they heat up they cut down but it's uh, if, if you have the risk to cut down your alternating system uh, while you're b bumping base it's not very good idea. Uh, so you have 510 ohm resistor here and you put it to the adjust leg of the LM317 and here you put 10 kilo ohms adjustable uh, potentiometer. So the potentiometer does, uh, they come in two kind of ways. First is logarithmic and second is linearic. Okay uh, and logarithmic is that the, uh, the more you turn it, it slower starts to rise and in the end it just peaks up. It's not very good in this operation so you must buy a lo uh, linearic uh, adjustable potentiometer to here. So whenever you turn it, it, it's, it rises in steady phase uh, from 0 up to 10 kilo ohms. And with that re resistive resistor uh, you crank the vo voltage up or down. But remember you cannot take out more than you put in. Uh, it steps down 
from 0.5 volts to 2 volts depending on what component you use here. I am using in this LM317 to, just to step down the 14.4 down to 12 volts with this adjustable potentiometer. Uh, okay, that's about it. Long story short, nice and simple, few components. Uh, remember to put uh, heat sink and use uh, enough wattage resistors in here so and uh, good cabling and good soldering to make it better uh, okay that's about it thanks thanks for watching like if you like this like if you dislike and leave a comment if i did make some mistake or how do you like this remember that everything here i am teaching you is from afrotech mods youtube channel so thumbs up for him thank you for making good videos see you later bye bye